Hi, beautiful. Shags are all the rage right now and oh. There's something about a shag haircut done well that makes me just gasp, like, <gasps> it just makes me so excited. I see so many people on TikTok and YouTube trying to do their own shag haircut and it always comes out a mess, typically. And I wanna share with you a technique on how to cut a shag haircut very, very easily. It's about four steps, anybody could do it. I also wanna preface this by saying, this is not exactly how I would do a shag haircut on a client. However, I've simplified things to make it easier for you guys at home. If you're going to attempt this, I wanted to give you a way to do it easier and do it pretty well. So with a few tools, some patience and willingness to learn, we can accomplish a shag haircut. That is my goal for you today. I also wanna say one last thing. If you are not willing to accept that you may mess up your hair if you try and cut it yourself, do not attempt this. Even the easiest things, in my opinion, can be difficult for some people to accomplish on their own hair. So do this at your own will. With that said, let me show you how to do an awesome and easy shag haircut on your own hair. Let's do it. So I'm gonna be using just a regular hair cutting scissor. Please just go buy a disposable hair cutting shears if you would like. I will link something below that's cheap on Amazon that you can buy. Just don't use kitchen scissors, please. I would also advise you to get some thinning shears. They have the little teeth on them. I will also link something down below. Some clips would be good. They don't have to be like this, at least two of them. A comb or a brush would be great. And lastly, elastic. That is such few things. This this is all I'm asking. Please don't use kitchen scissors. So with that all said, let's get my client for today and let's start the cut. Oh, hi miss. You want a shag haircut? I'm gonna give it to you. You're gonna wanna start with your hair wet. That is the number one thing because when your hair is dry, you have all kinds of waves going on in there. Even if you don't see them on the top, there may be some underneath. That means your hair is not gonna be cut evenly. But when your hair is wet, it gets weighed down and that wave pattern comes out easily. So her hair is really tangled, but you know, we got our hydromania conditioning mist to help with the tangles and condition her hair and give her a beautiful, shiny, healthy hair. I just whip my face with a bunch of water. Okay, now let's brush this hair out. A little more hydromania. Make sure that hair is nice and smooth. We grab our elastic and we're doing a really, really high ponytail. So I'm just gonna brush all the hair back and we're just gonna pull it all up literally to the very top of the head. And you must make sure that you have no bumps in the hair. You want this to be as smooth and beautiful as possible. Now, typically for such a high pony, I might use a hair bungee, but I wanna show you guys how you can do it without buying those things, cause they can be expensive. And we're just gonna smooth that out, put our elastic right in there, get it as perfect as possible so that it is centered in the top of her head. So that is what it should look like. So we're on to the fun stuff. We're gonna get cutting. Woo, 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 woo. Did you do it right? This is an important step. Hi, it's Brad from the future here. Um, I forgot to mention kind of important part. If your hair is extremely long and your goal is to make it shorter as well as do a more of shaggy layered look, please, before you do this step, cut your hair shorter. Bring your hair to the back of your head and cut a straight line across to where you would like your length to end. Have somebody help you, please. Otherwise, if your hair is already at a length that you like and you do not want to cut your length first, please proceed with this next step and don't worry about it. Okay, now we take a deep breath, do a prayer to the hair gods and hope for the best. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's all gonna be fine. So we're gonna brush out the ponytail with our comb or a brush and we are going to do a little scissor moment with our fingers. Get our fingers in there on the ends. I'm gonna be cutting off three or four inches off of the top of her hair, probably like right there. What we can do if you wanna be sure that you're not cutting off length is take a piece out from the back of the ponytail and bring it up and you see how that lands like right there. That means if I cut right there, I won't be getting rid of any of the length. I wanna cut these layers as short as I can without getting rid of the length because her hair is already not that long. If I cut it any shorter, it's gonna not have that like shaggy feel. So by having this piece out in the back and bringing it up to the ponytail, marking where that ends and then cutting there, that is going to give you a cut that does not get rid of the length of your hair. It just adds a lot of layering. So we're gonna comb it out, put our fingers on there, and then I'm going to just cut right across. <gasps> 
<laughs> so now we have that cut just like that. I'll show you guys that. What's happening is you're pulling all this hair up, right? To the top of her head. And it is also more forward than back. Also, the ponytail is up on the front of her hair as well. So you're gonna get maximum length at the nape of her neck down here. So it's gonna be really long. It's gonna start to get shorter as you get up here because the ponytail was directed more towards the front of her hair. And the shortest parts will also be right where the ponytail is pulled up at, right on the top of her head. So you're gonna get that layering up here, up here, and then it's gonna get really shaggy down here because of that over direction we did. So now let me show you what I got. This is the exciting part. Eee, get excited. Get excited. Okay, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm such a little hair nerd. Let me shake this out. Imagine this came out like terrible and I was like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so here is what we have now. We have these layers sitting about right there, which is a great spot. We also have this layering around the face now and we still have our length intact. We're gonna add even more texture onto this haircut, but look at that. Like all of this layering is sitting beautifully. You know, we pull these layers up, just a random group of hair. And look at how pretty precise that is. Like, it's nearly a straight line. Like, it's quite beautiful. But we're not done yet. We're gonna add the finishing touches to make this be spectacular, even better than what it already is. So let's part our hair down the middle because you know what, with a shag, you need to do a middle part. I don't care what you say, I don't care. Now things get a little tiny, tiny bit more complicated and I want you to bear with me. So we're going to do our middle part like I just did and we're just going to section this front section out right behind the ear and just push the rest of the hair back or clip it if you would like. We're gonna work this in two sections. I'm going to over direct the hair all the way to the other side. And you see how I have those two shorter pieces? I'm just gonna cut off that long stuff in between. All right, so we have a nice straight edge. I'm gonna bring the rest of the hair over and I'm gonna use that guide I just made and cut that other extra length that we don't need. All right, this is going to give you some beautiful layering around the face. You see that? It ends right at the chin. It's so pretty. And that was extremely easy to do. You see that? Oh my God, I love this haircut. Let's now do the other side. So we'll do the top part first. We'll just bring it to the other side of the head. And wherever your shortest piece is, mine's right there. I'm just gonna cut off the rest of that hair. This is looking gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I wish this was my head because I want this haircut. Next and nearly our final step. I think I said four steps. Maybe there's a five. Maybe I was tricking you. I don't know. We're just gonna take out a little triangle piece in the front of the head, just like that. Like a little slice. This doesn't need to be perfect. You really don't need to do that section perfect either, but you're just gonna add a little sort of um, curtain bang, okay? So comb out the hair and just take the shears wherever like the top of your lip, bottom of your nose ends. Just take little tiny Tiny munches until you meet the rest of the hair length. You know, start off small and work your way up. Like keep going until you get what you want. Except don't do it too much that you end up bald, okay? So that's where I'm gonna keep it. I did just two quick little moments of munching on the hair. People are probably like, what the f is he saying? Munching on the hair? Like, does anybody get what I'm talking about? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, exactly where I did before, right under the nose, and just take out little munches. Like, your scissors are hungry, but they're only trying to snack on the hair, you know? Okay, that was a lot of hair. You know, that's how much I'm taking off, and that's just gonna give us that little slight curtain bang, and then we have our layers after that. And just like that, we have finished the main part of the haircut. All we have to do after the blow dry is just a little bit of tweaking with the thinning shears just to make sure there's no harsh lines in the hair. But this is the haircut. Now I'm gonna do probably a very natural air dried sort of look with my diffuser. I want to make it look very lived in and very fresh and natural just cause I love when hair has texture with a shaggy cut like this. So let me grab some products and I'll be right back. So we're of course gonna hit the hair with some force field that protects the hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It also adds a nice amount of hold to the hair to make sure your style lasts. Now just to do a quick little spring on the top of the head, not too much and not too little. Let's brush that in really quick just to make sure it gets all over the entire head. Let's add our wave tech, wave foam. Oh, 
the holy grail. You're gonna see her hair transform with this product before your eyes. It's gonna go from this straight hair to this beautiful bodyful wave with a diffuser. Now, this product is great for obviously curly hair people. You guys have probably heard about it. It's literally gone super viral. Like it's insane. Like th thank you for that, by the way. But it'll also add nice body on straight hair. Now, it will not make your hair curly. Let me just say that if you have straight hair, but it will give you beautiful amounts of body and wave as long as you use a diffuser. We're gonna put this on our comb. You can use any kind of comb. You can use a wide cheese comb or whatever you wanna do. And we're just gonna get this all over the head. It's not that serious. It's gonna look like you're literally shampooing your hair, but that feeling goes away once you start drying it or once you start air drying it. This product can be used to air dry or to blow dry, of course. I really wanna get it all over those roots too. That way we have no frizz. This product can take a little bit of trial and error of just knowing how much you wanna use on your hair. It all depends on how how much hold, how much body, how much lift do you want? Everybody's different. So just experiment with the product and give it a try. We'll brush that through. I know this irks some people like, why are you brushing through, you know, wavy or curly hair? I like to do it that way and it's up to you how you do it. I feel like it works better when the product is all over every strand, but that's just me. And now for this look, because I want it to be more lived in, less glossy and more gritty, um, I'm gonna use salty sea salt spray to give me that lived in, beachy, hot, sexy summer hair. This product has oil, French salt water, and so many other amazing beneficial ingredients. So I'm just gonna scrunch the hair. I know it looks crazy, I know it looks ratty, but it's gonna look up you. La 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 la. We'll do that middle part again and just get the top a little bit smooth before we start blow drying. Give it a little more scrunch and we can diffuse. And boom, her hair is dried. Now, before I finish the waves um, and the style of it, I'm also gonna show you what it looks like when it's actually smoothed out and you can really see the layering a lot more. But before we do that, I'm just gonna finish this haircut with you guys. And this part is going to involve these babies, the thinning shears. It is a lot easier when your hair is dried straight. If you're gonna wear your hair wavy, just pick out some spots where you feel like there's a lot of heaviness. So I would say like that piece, it looks like it's a little too heavy for me. I'm gonna go like two inches up from the bottom of the hair and just take out a little bit of weight. That way you get a little bit more of that beautiful frayed edge. You know, you want that really wispy, light, flowy, airy sort of vibe with this haircut. So just going on those top layers and giving it a little bit of texture, you can literally just pick out pieces and give it more texture. It's easiest when it's dry, that way you can really see the effect of what you're doing. So let's just go around the head, take out a little bit of hair where we feel necessary. Don't go overboard with this, okay? Just take out enough. You can always go back and do more later on, the next day, whatever you wanna do. But let's just remove some of that bulk from those layers and just get a little more of that wispiness going on, especially in the bang area. The ends are really a little too thick for me. So I'm just gonna go in a few times to give it a little more bounce and a little more sexiness. So we have our shortest layers right here, right under her eyes, and our longest hair all the way down here. And it's giving me that shag life. Now let's just finish this off with the one and only product that I love so much for shaggy hair, which is BDSM, a slick and defined balm. Let me grab it. Here she is. This is the one I use on my hair every single day. Let's just take a little bit on our fingertips and let's just go through the bottom and just give it a little more separation, a little more of that pieciness, a little more of that lived in vibe. This adds hydration, gloss, shine, and hold, but a very flexible, sexy hold. And that is my shaggy hair look all complete. Oh my God, like do you see how much that just transformed her look? You can make this as shaggy as you wanted. You can go crazy with it. Like if you had these ends more straight and the rest of the hair more wavy, it'll give you even more of that like mullety shaggy look. Otherwise, it's really up to you how you wanna style it. It just gives you a really great base in order to style this 
the hair, give it nice life and volume, and it really helps accentuate that wave pattern. Um, without this haircut, her waves would not look like this. And I so love this lived in punk rock 70s look so much. But let me also show you what the hair looks like styled a completely different way with some shorter bangs. And here she is. This is the same haircut with shorter bangs and styled differently. I love this one as well. This has a beautiful like voluminous blowout going on. You can see even better that nice short layering that that haircut gave her. And there's no you know, ugly shelving going on. Like there's no harsh lines. It's super airy, super sexy, and super cool. I'm kind of obsessed with this look. Like what? Like, hello. I saw her on the street. If I saw both of them like hanging out together on the street, I'd be so intimidated. Like walk right by them. Like I wouldn't know what to do. Cause I'd be like, oh my God, they're too pretty for me. Yeah, we both got the same haircut. Like we asked for a shag. What do you think, Becky? Oh my God, I'm obsessed too. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm so happy. I'm glad I got to teach you guys that. There's just such a satisfied feeling when you do hair exactly how you envisioned it. I'm obsessed with the look. I hope you are too. And I hope if you try this on your own hair, it worked out well. And I would love to see what you guys do to your hair. Please tag me. And if you are planning on doing this haircut, well, good luck. You're gonna kill it. And just remember, be careful. <laughs> Take your time. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles all around me. Go for it. This is my phone number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really used to see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be replying back to a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you guys would like to check out any of the products mentioned in today's video, they're all linked below for you. You can also head to our website to check out all of our hair care and color products at xmodohair.com. Or you can get hair inspiration on our Instagrams at xmodohair for hair care and xmodocolor for color. If you guys would like to check out my Live Your Extra Life merch, you can do so. It is so damn comfy. It is listed down below or at xmodohair.com. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already and make sure you click the like button if you like the video and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Westy and it says, Hi Brad, I've been watching your videos for a really long time and I've always wanted to do something fun with my hair but wasn't allowed to until I was 16. Although I can color it in natural colors, I was wondering the cut and color you would recommend recommend to me. Oh, you know what I'm about to say to you, Westy? Your hair would look so good in a shag. Like the haircuts we did today, like cutting your hair short first and then doing a shag, that would look amazing. Especially with those bangs that you already have. I honestly really like your hair color. If anything, just add a few more highlights, but your hair color is beautiful. I don't want to mess with it too much. So a shag, keep the color, add some highlights, keep the bangs, you know. It'll look great. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.